there's a hair extension in the dead plant. Who am I? Why is this my life? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am in my bedroom right now and I am going to be doing a complete dresser reorganization slash clean out. It is so bad right now. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. I'm gonna be real real and show you how bad my dresser is. So I am planning to go through everything, get rid of a lot of stuff, and then refold and reorganize my entire dresser. So I thought you guys might want to watch because organizational videos are kind of fun and it makes me more motivated to do it. I used to have everything folded and like filed, kind of like the KonMari folding method if you are familiar with that. I used to do a folding style that was very similar that I didn't even know the KonMari folding method was a thing. And then I started looking more into that method and so I'm going to be folding my clothes using that method because like I said I used to use something just my own folding method but it was really similar and it was organized in that kind of file system and it worked really well and it's just not like that anymore everything's thrown in nothing's folded like it's bad so I'm I'll show you guys the whole KonMari method folding if you're unfamiliar while I go through this so I'm gonna go through I'm gonna show you each drawer and then I'll show you everything once it's done fun fact about me is I have a very bad habit of not closing things. Drawers in particular, but it goes to all kinds of things. Containers, cupboards, everything. Like I just leave stuff open and drawers are big. Right now, pretty much all of my drawers are open. I'm looking at them, by the way, because uh, the drawers are too full and unorganized and they won't close. I am a close hoarder. I have clothes from high school and I have a really hard time of letting go of clothes. So I'm really going to try to let go of clothes today. So let me show you the drawers right now. So this first drawer is like underwear, socks, and bras, which I'm not going to really show you that one, but I am going to reorganize it. This second drawer is layering tank tops, t-shirts, other tops that I throw on that are just like super loungewear, which is pretty much what I wear every day because I work from home. So I grab a lot of stuff out of this drawer, but it's like shirts that aren't nice enough to be hung up in the closet. The next drawer is shorts and skirts. This includes like denim shorts, pajama shorts, skirts. And the next drawer, which I literally can't even open because the one on top is so full and here, and that's jeans, which I have too many of. I can't even fit them all in the drawer. Some are in the closet, so that's bad. And then this drawer, there's jeans sitting in it, which are not meant to be there. And then it's like yoga pants, pajama pants, all of that stuff. So also, the top is a catch-all. There's a dead plant. I'm sorry, Mom. My mom gave me that plant. I killed it. There's a hair extension in the dead plant. Like, who am I? What am I? Why is this my life? So <laughs> that needs to be cleaned too. So let's do it. Here goes nothing on the first drawer. It is so full. I'm just gonna pull everything, ugh, pull everything out and toss it on the floor. And here's a nice little pile of everything in the drawer. And by the way, this isn't even everything because I definitely have stuff in the laundry. All right, so let's fold. I'm going, oh, hello. I'm going to show you this whole KonMari method folding. We'll take a t-shirt. You lay it face down. This is very wrinkled. That's what happens when you don't fold your clothes, everyone. You lay it face down, flat, flat, flat. You imagine that there's a line down the center. So you're going to fold everything in to the line in the center. If they're sleeves, you don't want them overlapping the line, so you pull the sleeves like that so that they're flat. Everything is on one side. Over here again, to the center, flatten the sleeves, pull the bottom up to the top. You imagine cutting it in thirds, and then you fold down, and then you fold down, and it makes this nice little taco so basically the goal is it should be able to stand up on its own once you're done, which it does. And then it's this nice compact little shirt that you can then 
stack in your drawers. And that is super cool. So I'm gonna just get to folding all of this stuff and see what I can still fit in my drawers. And if it doesn't fit, then I'm gonna get rid of more stuff. the clothes please so 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 i'm folding these clothes i need you to get off of the clothes excuse me move so give me this give me this Okay, so here's a look at everything. They're in no real piles. I'm gonna organize them in the drawer, but piles of folded clothes. I have one pile there of throwaways and a pile there of donate. Um, I realized I don't really know how to KonMari fold tank tops. I just did my own kind of version and they're definitely nowhere near folded as perfect as like people who really follow that folding method, but it's the general idea. So now I'm gonna put them back in the drawers. Um, you guys, that's all of them. I still have half a drawer left. Half a drawer left, and that's everything. That's crazy. I couldn't even shut the drawer before. That's crazy! That's amazing. Holy cow. Okay, drawer number two. I just wanted to show you guys really quick. If you watched my Stitch Fix haul, I had said, I think it was in that video, that I had like shorts and dresses that were all of a sudden like too short for me. These were the pair that I tried on that I was like, I'm old. It was these little American Eagle yellow shorts that I have not grown since last year. And I put them on this year after wearing these last year and was like, I can't wear these. These are too short. I am too old. So these are being donated. And again, I have like half a drawer. I have skirts here and then like athletic shorts, soft, nice shorts, denim shorts and like other shorts and then pajama shorts. And I don't have everything in here because I definitely have laundry, like I have more pajama shorts, but this again is so much room and I was hoping to be able to fold my maxi skirts and put them in here and now I can. That's amazing, now I can, woohoo! Next drawer is the jeans. guys so this drawer is full but it's still better than it was I have a really hard time parting with jeans like I have a lot of jeans and I do not wear all of these on a regular basis because I don't really wear jeans that often because they're not that comfortable but a lot of them are 
designer that I bought a long time ago and I just have such a hard time getting rid of jeans that were so expensive. So here they are. I still have two pairs of colored denim that's not even in here. This drawer needs some purging soon. I'm gonna see over the next few months when winter and fall comes what I actually wear and then I'm gonna get rid of some of these. pajama pants we got yoga pants we got shorter capri yoga pants woohoo so here's my final piles this little one is throwaways this is donate slash sell slash pass on to somebody i can't believe i actually finished this so here's one last look at all the drawers the shirt drawer the shorts drawer the jeans drawer the pajama drawer. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I can't believe I actually did this whole thing in one day. I didn't wind up cleaning the top off with the dead plant and the hair extension. That's still on my list to do because I'm kind of burnt out and I need to get going on some other things. But I got all the drawers done. I only took one break for lunch and it really didn't take that long. So if you are in need of doing this with your dresser, I highly encourage you to do it because it honestly didn't take that long and it looks so much better. And now I know how much space I have. Like I can actually fit things in there properly. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. There are other places in my house that could really use some organization. So if you like this kind of video, then I I can do more in other places of my house and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't I'm gonna be doing a giveaway here soon once I hit a thousand subscribers and I'm also heading to Maui next week where I'm going to definitely be vlogging so you want to make sure that you're subscribed for that too I don't know why I was holding my hand here the whole time I have no idea anyways so I'll see you guys in my next video bye